Hi, this is part four of the five part series of working with Dye For You scarves. In this one, um, I'm going to be showing you two um, sizes of my favorite weight. This is the five mummy weight China silk and this is my favorite fabric. I just love the way this works. Um, and so in this one, I'm going to show you, this is a 35 by 84 and then I'm also going to show you the 55 by 108, which is a big boy. <laughs> Um, so with this one, one of the greatest things to do is just billow, which we've done with several of the others, but it, this one, you can see that the five mummy weight is so light, it just hangs on the air. And the thing that I love about this weight is that when you wear it, it just makes you want to dance with it because it's so pretty and it just moves so beautifully. And so you can actually add some ripples to this while you're um, moving it back. So I'm just moving my arms up and down as I bring them back. <laughs> these are fun. You can actually, with these, you can actually have one person on each end of them and use them like a billow that way too, where you have um, each person holding two corners. And that looks really lovely too, especially with the big ones. On my blog, I have some pictures of some people using those. <laughs> This one you can also do where you have one arm in and you're moving one arm around and it just moves so beautifully. And again, mostly I'm just letting the scarf move here. I'm not doing that much. I'm sort of moving my feet and my one arm. <laughs> but mostly this is the scarf doing all the, move the movement. The thing that I like about this one is because it's so light, you can do it for a while without wearing out, <laughs> which I appreciate. You can do this one like a streamer as well. I would grab it kind of on the side near the end or on a corner. That was on the side. Let's try a corner. It does catch more of the air. So this takes a little bit more oomph. <laughs> but it looks really pretty. Anyway, this is a great size scarf. This is my personal favorite. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you this one is the 55 by 108. And this is a big scarf. I just want you to get the feel of it. This one requires a little bit of space to move with because even just to do a billow, <laughs> you almost have to be moving with it because otherwise <laughs> you run out of space. This is a standing still billow. Actually, it's not too bad. But it just sort of hangs. And again, this is the Five Mummy China Silk, which is such a pretty weight. Here I'm moving my arms in and out as I come down. So I'm going up and then in and out, up and then in and out. If this size is a little intimidating but you want to go bigger than the 35 by 84, there is a 45 by 108, which is just a little bit smaller than this. And again, this is the one where I'm holding one arm in and just moving one arm. And you've got so much fabric here that's moving, it just looks beautiful. Now you can try and do a streamer with this if you have lots of arm strength. <laughs> I do not, so <laughs> I'm not even gonna show you. It's possible, but uh, I don't do it. <laughs> takes a little too much work for me. Anyway, those are just a couple of simple moves. The other thing you can do with this one that's kind of fun is just wrap up in it. And so depending on how much you want to move. Here I'm just sort of swirling around and moving my arms in and out. It just, the fabric moves beautifully. So you don't have to do much. Just let the fabric move. Hopefully you found that helpful. God bless you.